G'day, this is Simon and James at South OC Cars and Coffee for a very special event. What have we got, James? We got Cruising for a Cure going on this weekend, so it, it's going to be a massive show today. It's going to be huge. Now, Cruising for a Cure, of course, is a show that's been going for about 22 years and was set up um, by uh, Debbie Baker and her late husband to create awareness for men's prostate cancer. And uh, while we can't do the testing here that they've done in previous years, they are raising funds to go to uh, prostate cancer research. And if you're watching this and you're a man over 40 years of age, please go and get tested at least once a year. It is one of the biggest killers of men and yet is one of the most treatable cancers if detected early. Uh, we have in our family, it killed my grandfather and my father is a survivor of prostate cancer from only a few years ago. So something that's very near and dear to our heart. Um, it's too early to say what's here yet. Nothing yet, huh, James? A few hot rods and a few... Uh... I don't think there's going to be anything here for quite a while. There's actually a massive accident in Camino Capistrano this morning that shut down about 11 miles of the five. I saw it when I was coming here at about 5.45 this morning. So I think it's going to be a bit of a slower start today, but it's still going to be packed. There's um, a few I mean, cars right. rolling in already. We got some classic stuff rolling. There's a couple of old Ford trucks over there that are really, really nice. Uh, it's going to be a great show. So uh, let's go for a walk and check it out. Alrighty guys, we're here with Jace, one of the owners of Next Level Detailing, one of the long-term sponsors of South OC Cars and Coffee. And then behind us, we have this beautiful McLaren 720S in kind of a metallic, almost maroon color, which was uh, one of the first projects that I personally saw completed at the shop. This this client got quite literally everything done. You want to tell us a bit about a it? A lot of these cars, obviously, people want full body protection. Uh, so we started with a uh, boutique XPEL installation on the front clip, so mirror caps forward, and then everything on the back features a uh, self-healing ceramic coating. So kind of removes the hassle. You spend this money on paint correction, car gets swirled, what do you do next? Well, you know, this car will never be swirled again. It self heals all that stuff out. So. Yeah, it's gonna keep it looking good for years. And then, the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Expel Ultimate Plus PPF is, uh, that's self healing self -healing as well. Self-healing as well. Comes yep. with a warranty as well? It does, yeah. So Expel is 10 year warranty, uh, covers uh, premature film failure. Uh, and then all of our projects also come with a, uh, essentially a shop guarantee. You know, you have your car done by us, you find something you don't like, you're awesome. not gonna get a dial tone, we take care of you. The, uh, the best part about the Expo Ultimate Plus PPF as well is the fact that the warranty doesn't just cover the cost of film, which is uh, what a lot of film companies do. They literally just cover the cost of it, but they'll, they'll uh, actually pay for everything to be replaced, yep. essentially yep. that's failed, which is yep. fantastic. So uh, yeah, thanks for uh, sponsoring the show. Oh, and, uh, absolutely. We're excited to see the cars you bring it out. Absolutely, no, appreciate you having us. Thanks, James. Cheers. The guys from Shera here today, they brought one of their brand new cars, this beautiful Lamborghini, but uh, quite a nice stable of cars here with Shera this morning. So if you uh, need to rent a luxury or exotic car, or you own a luxury and exotic car and you want to get some of your payments paid for, Shares a really good way of doing it. Think of it like Airbnb for cars. So check these guys out. They have an app you can download. So that's probably the best way to get all the latest information on Shera. I have to say right now, my favorite color combo on any car is going to be green with either bronze or gold wheels and tan interior. And this 991.2 GT3 is no exception to that rule. Beautiful, beautiful non-metallic green paint with R101 LWs, I believe, set of uh, HREs. The LW stands for lightweight, which these wheels most certainly are, strapped up with Michelin Pilot Sport 4Ss. And I love that these are center locks as well really really makes it look great and then the red accents all over the car as well you've got the red brakes and then inside as well you have red stitching on the uh, on the steering wheel and on the seats as well cool little red stripe that goes down and then just very very nice interior Alcantara everywhere matched with a seven speed PDK and on the 991.2 as well the back end just looks so much more aggressive you've got the more modern LED looking tail lights big wing on it and then it's sporting that that 4.0 badge right there very very nice Whoever owns this has spec this absolutely perfectly. There is nothing that I would change. Another car that I absolutely have to highlight is this brand new Huracan STO owned by Nick from VF Engineering. The spec on this is ridiculous. You got the white paint with the orange accents and kind of like a little hex action in the back that matches the seats. 
looks absolutely stunning. And uh, I actually saw this last week at Pacific Gym and getting the VF engineering blower put on. So I bet this thing packs a massive punch. Another cool thing about it is just the way that it opens up. You know, the, the, the back end opens up this way, the front end opens like that. It kind of looks Koenigsegg-esque almost. Kind of uh, how you can click that one button on the Regera and everything opens up. Nice wheels on it too. Center locks with massive orange brakes that match the highlights on the rest of the car. All in all, very, very nice spec. Definitely something that I'm looking forward to seeing again. Great to have the guys from BMW Performance Driving School on as sponsors of South OC Cars and Coffee. You know, if you're looking to buy a BMW and you want to know what they uh, like on the track, this is a great way of doing it. Or if you just want a great track experience as well. A couple of weeks ago, we had these guys here with the M4 GT4. Uh, they have a wide variety of different cars in the stable. So if you're looking at buying an M vehicle, why not go out, drive it on the track uh, before you buy one and uh, get to experience what it's really like. And then also, one of the things they do is take you around the track with a professional driver as well, which has got to be cool. So, I'm standing next to Gary and he's being nervous about talking about his car on camera. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, Gary, tell us about this car. You've done a stack of work to this under the hood. That is not a period correct engine, as is a lot of stuff in here. What are the, the block things? Is. The block is, but a lot of the rest, not so much. No, no, it's a 3.6 out of a 92 M5. Right, excellent. Yep. And uh, I mean, these are such a great car, and you've just done a lot of little touches to it to resto mod the thing, basically. Somewhat resto mod, yep, yep. Full suspension, Willwood brakes, all powder coated. It's a beautiful car, mate. And does it drive as good as it looks? Better. Better than it looks. Better. That's a, a bit like yourself, really. <laughs> I, I love what you do with the, your cars, Gary. There's a few things you've got. You've also got that old Land Cruiser FJ40, I think it is. 45. 45. FJ 45. Sitting on an 80 series suspension and a Lexus running gear, correct? 80 series chassis with a 100 series Land Cruiser drivetrain. Yeah, very, very cool. Well, this is beautiful too, mate. Always love to see you bring it out. So, good job. Now here is a classic case of making sure that you stop and look at stuff as you walk past them. This rusted patina power wagon sitting over here, a few little signs, brand new exhaust, amazing looking chassis underneath, all the interior looking brand spanking new, that uh, cowhide there, and then under the hood, that would be a Hellcat engine sitting underneath there. What an amazing thing. Look at this, the suspension up underneath there, coilovers, full chassis. This is really impressive. This is what I love, you know, things like this that are just sitting in the parking lot. You could walk straight past and go, oh yeah, it's a rusted out power wagon. And then you look for the signs and it's just been really nicely done. A lot of engineering in this, a lot of engineering. Amazing radiator. All that cow section on the front, very cool. Well, this is not something you see every day. 55 gallon drum, turned to a bit of a cruiser. Little engine in the back there, love that. Velcro on the side. crowd around this beetle which means probably need to take a closer look first thing that stands out interior nicely done but everybody's looking in the back of this thing very clean very 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 clean nice wheels on it as well great color
Hey, nice looking 1940 Ford truck here. First thing that caught my eye, you notice the uh, distributor is not in front of the car, at the front of the motor, it's actually the back. Yeah, that's a small block Chevy in there, it is not a Ford V8. So the purists would not be happy about that, I'm sure, but hey, great motor to work on and uh, cheap for parts. So why not? Nice interior, very clean, just simplistic, nice paint job on it. Nice wooden bed in there. Great looking truck. Great looking Ford F100 here. Uh, this one, notice you got a Coyote in there. It's not as easy as you would think putting those Coyote motors in older vehicles because they are so wide. So a lot of the time you'll see a complete change in the suspension in particular. Uh, the strut towers have to be removed to be able to fit them in there. But great looking truck, nice bed on it. Really uh, just clean massive rubber on the back. Interesting look, the, the flat black and the and the gloss in a few places so a lot of engineering gone into uh, shoehorning that in there I'm sure another nice looking F100 this group's part of the cruising for a cure group that came in early uh, pickups unlimited this is an F100 van running a Ford V8 in there lots of shine under the hood, so a lot of attention to detail in the paintwork. It actually looks like, it is, it's a two-tone. The top half of this has got a brown tinge to it, the bottom half is black. Really hard to see, and I don't think the camera is probably gonna be able to pick it up, but interesting, nice interior. Massive rubber on the back. Really big uh, tires in there. Beautiful looking bed, a lot of hours of work gone into building this thing, I'm sure. Very, very clean. Very, very pretty Chevy sitting here. LS transplant under the hood. Notice the uh, coil covers. They've made to look like valve covers under there. More like an old school small block. Beautiful burgundy paint on this thing and uh, magnificent looking interior. Just little details that really set it off. You can see that chrome trim on the doors very minimalistic gauge cluster in there tack in the middle temperature gauge oil pressure gauge and then speedo up the top like a wood grain finish so they've integrated modern tech into this thing but kept it looking really simplistic and minimalistic and those that beautiful back end what a great looking car Big fan of this 68 Camaro, uh, big block under the hood, and the thing that catches my eye every time I see this thing come in is right at the back end, bit of a telltale sign with those uh, wide dish wheels. Let's go at the back and have a look underneath. It's just about all rubber across the back there. Absolutely amazing. Drop pipes in the middle, but incredible looking stance on this thing with that big rubber on there. Looks so tough. Love it.
tough looking Corvette, LSX transplant in it. Wide bodied, massive rubber on the back. Real resto mod here. Very pretty. This is kind of interesting uh, for delivery, but it's uh, it's really big. It's it's like truck style wheels, really neatly integrated engine in there. It looks like it actually might be a Corvette engine under the hood. Faux woodwork in there. Beautiful old gauges. Interesting color too. Lots of hours have gone into uh, doing the woodwork and the paintwork on this thing, bodywork. Very interesting. So earlier we were saying, James and I, about cruising for a cure. This is the event. This has been going for 22 years and we're proud to be able to host it here today. 
and the whole reason for cruising for a cure is to raise awareness to men's prostate cancer so um, make sure to check out their website i'm sure they're going to be selling t-shirts online so make sure to jump on their website if you're not here today and you didn't get a chance to to grab one of their t-shirts Let's check out some motorcycles. That is it for another week at South OC Cars and Coffee. A little bit of a slower start due to the accident on the five. Uh, traffic bank back about 11 miles, I think you said, didn't you? It was crazy, yeah. Uh, and, and we heard it was either a chemical spill or and possibly a fire, so let's hope everyone's all right with that. Um, great morning though still, and great to be raising money for a Cruising for a Cure, those guys over there selling t-shirts, and also the clubs that are in here as well. Hey James, why don't you give a shout out to all the sponsors? Yeah, absolutely. Huge shout out to uh, Meguiar's, Polestar, Share, uh, Next Level Detailing, as well as Next Level Mobile Detailing, Teen Road to Safety, Classic Industries, Pacific Air Cold, and then also BMW Performance Center, and then Align Financial Insurances, paired with Haggerty. Uh, huge shout out to all the volunteers as yep. well for making this happen each and every week. Uh, you know, if you guys do want to volunteer, make sure you hit up uh, Sarah on uh, Instagram, South OC Cars and Coffee Merch. You do get to come in and park early, and then you also get a free donut and a coffee provided by Ruby's. Absolutely. Big thank you to the outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here as well. You know, we couldn't do it without those guys. So please, please, please do anything you can to support these guys. I know when I need to go shopping, I come here just to support outlets of San Clemente. And of course, Rockwells and Ruby's every week out there, early coffee, donuts, really helping make the show as great as it is. So really thank you for that as well. Of course, the biggest thank you to everyone who brings out their cars and all the spectators as well. We really appreciate it. Uh, that's it. Have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee.